Hi everyone, it's been a minute. I'm not gonna do the I'm sorry, whatever thing. We've been there, done that. My name's Amwafwa, it's the first time here. If it's not, thank you so much for returning. Today we're gonna be talking about next plan on. Everyone that I saw that had a video about it was just like very negative. And so I just wanted something that was a little bit more like informative and balanced. And so I figured I would do that myself. Asked for questions on Instagram, you guys sent some in, so I'll be answering those in the second half of this video. So next one on is a birth control implant. It goes in your arm. It's like a tiny little rod. It's the shape, size of a, like a matchstick. It's inserted into your arm and the way that it works is it releases a hormone called progestin. It releases a synthetic form of progesterone, which your body produces naturally. What that does is it like changes environment <laughs> of your uterus so that like implantation doesn't happen also it stops ovulation from happening that's how it works as a birth control method general disclaimers my experience is just my experience i'm not a medical doctor i am in no way medically certified or qualified to give you advice about what to do for your own body i can only share my experience in the hopes that it gives you just another opinion to weigh if you have been considering options. Hormonal birth control like Nexplanon, some people take it for birth control, some people take it also for acne and for um, conditions like PCOS, endometriosis, and so on and so forth. As with all other contraception, Nexplanon will not prevent or protect you from STDs and HIV, so remember that. <laughs> I went to Medifem in Accra, it's a gynecology hospital, the doctor is very nice. You can go in and get a consultation and then get whatever method it is that you decide on or if you feel like you've done your own research and you know what you want, you can go in and just get your like procedure done. So I got it done at Medifem, cost 100 CDs, it was a very quick procedure. The way that the next one on insertion process works. I went with a friend and they were like terrified as it was being inserted because it looks pretty scary but what they do is they inject, it goes in your arm and so they inject your arm with a numbing thing so your arm is completely numb and your doctor will like test it to make sure that your arm is actually numb before they insert it because it's like the, in, the tool they use to insert it is quite big. They just put it under your skin, release the implant in, and then you're done. Then you just like put like a, a plaster over it for a couple days. You can't lift weights and that kind of thing for like a couple days after, but otherwise you're good. If you have periods that are in any type of way interfering with your ability to live your life, like go to a hospital. You do not have to just deal with it because you might have a condition, there might be a way for you to treat what you're dealing with. You don't have to just like, ha like experience pain because you have periods. I'm going to go into answering the questions that I got on Instagram now. I'm just going to go in the order that the questions were asked. Someone asks, do you know the chances of pregnancy while you're on this? So next one on is 99% effective. It's pretty effective. Is it hormonal? Yes. So next one on is hormonal birth control. Like I mentioned in the beginning, it releases progestin into your body, which is synthetic progesterone. How long does it remain active? Um, it's valid. <laughs> valid. <laughs> it's, um, it's good for up to five years. They give you a card at the hospital when you get it with the date that you got it on, just so you remember. Guys, that you like take a photo, email it to yourself, just in case you lose the card. So there are a couple questions about weight gain. The thing with all hormonal birth control is that it really depends on everyone's body. I don't think I have experienced any weight gain that I can attribute to the implants though. So please take that with a grain of salt because I work out like four to five times a week, cardio and weight training. So it would not affect my body. I don't think the same way that it would if you had a less active lifestyle. Everybody's body is different. It will absolutely affect everybody's body differently. Is it uncomfortable at any point in time? You could feel it for the first couple days but most of the time I don't even remember that it's in there so comfort level pretty pretty solid 
Where did you get it and how much did it cost? I went to Medifin, it was 100 CDs for the implants. I didn't pay to get it done. I just paid for the thing itself. Any nausea? No. I did not experience nausea on this. The effects on your body, skin, mood, especially so far. Oh my god. For nothing else but this, 1000% I recommend. I've always had pretty infrequent and difficult periods, like throwing up, I have diarrhea, the whole situation. In addition to that, I would also have wild mood swings, really high highs, and then really low lows. Found out about this thing, it's called PMDD, which is sort of like PMS times 10. All the physical symptoms you would get for PMS just like are exacerbated. And then if you have mood or like emotional symptoms for PMS, those are also heightened. Mood swings had gone to the point of like suicidal ideation when I was on my period. And that was for like five, six months before I got on the implant. So it had gotten pretty, pretty bad. Since I got on the implant, I feel like a different human being because my moods are so stable now. It's really wild because I guess I didn't realize just how bad it was before. Again, affects everybody's body differently, so I can't guarantee that the same thing will happen for you. Has it caused any changes with my like cycle? I got it put in and I could feel my period was going to start, you know, because I had all the like physical indicators, my mood was like swinging all up and over the place. So I knew my period was about to start and that was in like September. Yeah. Then I got it in and then I didn't get my period for September. And one of the side effects of Nexplanon that a lot of people experience is that it stops your periods. That's honestly what I was hoping for. <laughs> that was the biggest selling factor for me. If I can go five years without a period, I see what you have done for others. When I didn't get my period in September, I was like, yes, it's working. And then October came. What happened to me in October? There are no words. None. <laughs> I was like physically incapable of moving for two days. It just, I had never had a period that bad in my life it was horrifying <laughs> crazy crazy and then after that i just kept bleeding as in it didn't stop <laughs> remember i got on next and on because i was like no more periods and then what i got was eternal periods <laughs> i bled for two months again everybody's body reacts differently that might not happen to you. It did to me though. So like I genuinely didn't even notice it anymore. It just became like a part of my life, I guess. It didn't hurt at all. Like there were no cramps or anything like that associated with it. I was just bleeding. Completely went away for a couple days or like up like a week in December. It's come back a little bit. So I'm like spotting again. Hopefully by the end of December, it will like stabilize and then I will no longer have periods. Um, someone mentioned about how it will affect fertility in the future. I think there's a lot of like, false information on the internet that if you are on birth control, it means that having children later on in your life is more difficult. I don't think there's any medical evidence of that though. Do you have any questions? Definitely like make an appointment, go in and see a gynecologist and talk out all of your concerns. But I don't think there's any medical evidence of it affecting later fertility. Side effects, um, like I said, I spotted for like two months. I have like really bad headaches. And then there was a heaviness in my chest that I mentioned, which I think was also actually just my anxiety. I haven't experienced any like weight gain that I think I can attribute to the implant. Bigger side effect, which is a great side effect, is it has really, really, really stabilized my moods and completely removed all of my PMS and PMDD symptoms. So I love it for that. Someone asks if it helps with PCOS symptoms. So with PCOS, everybody's um, 
it's like a spectrum of severity right so like everybody's experience of that is also different for some people it does help like for me with my like exacerbated pms symptoms it's really helped with that i haven't gotten checked to see if there have been any cysts or anything that have come up if you have any like medical conditions where you're concerned about how this might interact with that condition or any other medication that you are on please go in and see your doctor and talk to your gynecologist that's the best way for you to get accurate information and make an educated decision someone asked if next is available in ghana it is all birth control is <laughs> it's pretty accessible also so i went to medifem but i know it's more affordable if you go to marie stopes i'll leave the information for marie stopes and planned parenthood planned parenthood ghana in the description box i think it's just a lot of the same questions coming up mood weight cycle pain someone asked why next to not over a copper iud i could never <laughs> quite frankly i think that's all the questions i feel like i've hit everything that i wanted to i hope you guys found this video helpful i again i will leave links to all of the resources so like mary stokes the birth control uh, website all of that in the description bar down below so please check that out if you have any other questions that I didn't answer, please leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to get back to you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!